Yeah. So let's talk about, let's kind of jump right in here. Let's talk about what we got going on this week. I know we've got um, Chairman Powell. We're going to talk about him. We got uh, ECP, ECB, the European Central Bank, however you say that. Did I get that right? I can't remember if I get that right. I always screw that one up. Um, basically, the ECB is going to have their meeting in Europe to talk about their interest rate hikes. We got the labor reports. So we want to talk about that. Um, and we got a bunch of other stuff we want to talk about. So I'm going to let you take the stage. Uh, what do you think we're going to get on Wednesday, Zach, when, when Papa Powell, Chairman Powell, gives us his speech and makes the big, huge announcement? Yeah, I remember reading an article you actually sent me and the temperature in the room right now, very similar to where we were, you know, last rate hike. So I, I'm going to go with another 25 basis point hike. Could this be our last one? We shall see. But uh, that's my best guess. How about, how about you? I think we're going to get the 25 basis points. I think that's baked in. I think that that's what, you know, and by baked in, I mean, of course, just the fact that you know, that's what the market is expecting. And we were looking at share before we went live. We both have, uh, you know, I think added our bags. We'll come back to that. Um, but, you know, look, the market's down four points, man. I mean, I think that the market's a little spooked right now, um, but not in a bad way. I don't think everybody's running for the hills. By the way, this moved down. It was about 2% about 20 minutes ago. So it's definitely moved down more aggressive. I think everybody is... Um, so I got to get my buttons right on. That was just showing me. I got to get, I got to, I think everybody is expecting 25 basis points. I think we get another, I think we get another raise in June. Um, and then it's like up to, uh, it's like what happens there. And I, and I final thought before I throw it back to you, we all know what we're going to really be doing on Wednesday. We're going to be watching his speech to see what he says, how he says at the tone, if he brushes his hair a certain way, you know, whatever. Right. So yeah. what's your, what's your sense there? What do you think he's going to say? That's that. That's really what you know. What we have to wait for because the twenty-five basis points. I agree. I think it's baked into the market right now. But what's the temperature in the room in terms of the rest of the year? And I think we know the reporters are going to ask those questions. How much he divulges that that will make the the market move one way or another. Right. Yep. Yep. So, kind of staying within this vein. There's Raider uh, talking about swift, switching our attention, still kind of still talking about the macro here. We've got ECB meeting. Uh, the European Central Bank uh, is going to meet, I think, on Thursday. And the context for that meeting is that, you know, we're going to get um, what are they going to do? Are they going to raise the rate or not? You know, because this to me is the first part of this video or the first part of, of this of this discussion is kind of the overall macro state of, of crypto. Right. We've got. Yeah. Federal Reserve here in the States. We've got ECB in, in Europe. Are they going to raise the rates? Most likely. You know, we had, I don't know if you remember, we had the UK come out of uh, last month. There, It was 10%. Uh, that was a, as far as inflation, that was a surprise number. So I'm, I'm expecting, I'm expecting uh, a rate hike in Europe, which we both know is probably going to bleed over the proverbial pond here. And then we got labor. So I want to get your opinion on labor uh, we got a labor report coming in later this week. Do you think it's going to be hot? What are we thinking there? Now, that's a great question. Uh, you know, in terms of the in terms of what we get out of the data out of the EU, EU, it definitely will have an impact on the global markets, especially crypto, right? Because crypto is global. So much of the volume comes from, uh, you know, the U.S. and uh, Europe, in addition to Asia and everywhere else. But in terms of the labor report, it'll be interesting to see if things are starting to align with raising the rates because thus far we haven't had as much of a drawback uh, in terms of less jobs right. than we should have. Right? right. I think it's slowly getting better. If I remember correctly, like from the last time we did our live stream, the last time we, we kind of looked at it and heard Powell speak, but it's still not there yet. Right. And for that reason, I think that's why we're seeing more interest rates because it's not necessarily doing exactly what it's supposed to do for the labor market. Yeah. Yeah.